Assalamu alaikum. May the peace, love, and blessings of Allah be with you. In each video in this series, I'm going to share a verse of the Quran which contains one of the core values of the Quran, along with an understanding of psychology, which will, inshallah, make it a lived reality in your own life. We say before we begin anything, the verse at the start of 113 of the 114 chapters of the Quran, Bismillah Rahman Rahim, in the name of Allah, the most loving, the most benevolent. The word Rahma could be thought of as loving kindness. It's sometimes translated as mercy, which is accurate, but could be a little bit misleading for the average English speaker, as it doesn't have the connotation of benevolence or love, which is infused into the word Rahma in Arabic. Rahma is truly the starting point of Islam and one of the essential core spiritual teachings of the Quran. The names of Allah, Ar Rahman and Ar Rahim, are the most absolute forms of loving kindness. So our objective is to manifest this virtue in our lives. Ar Rahimuna Yarhamuhum Ar Rahman, Irhamu Man Fil Ard, Yarhamukum Man Fil Sama. Those who are loving are loved by the most loving. So love those on earth and those in heaven will love you. Being loving and kind towards all of creation is the objective. And this is all well and good until someone else isn't particularly loving towards you. And at that point, for most of us, the virtue of Rahmah just goes out of the window. So that's where the inside out understanding of psychology comes in. The inside out, in a nutshell, says that our feelings, our attitudes, our moods, states of mind are always coming from thought moment by moment, and never from somewhere other than thought. Now in my book, Inside the Soul of Islam, I share a cute little anecdote about one of my coaches, Keith Blevins, who got into a little trouble with his wife, Felder. You see, there was a pile of wood in their front yard, and although Keith was pleased that the wood pile was out of harm's way, his wife, Felder, was a little bit displeased because, well, it was an ugly pile of wood in the front yard. Now, Felder asked Keith many times to move that ugly pile of wood, and Keith would eventually said that he would get round to it. So one day, Valda comes home and she saw her husband, her lovely husband Keith, standing in the front room. She's so filled with love and happiness to see such a handsome man who's kind-hearted and lovely. She goes over and gives him a big hug. And then she opens her eyes and sees the ugly pile of wood in the front garden. Immediately, not-so-loving thoughts come to her mind and her feelings towards Keith change instantly. She starts thinking, well, why doesn't he just listen? Why is he being so lazy? No one should have to put up with this. However, being an insightful woman, Valda paused and had a moment of clarity. She saw her thinking really clearly. She instantly noticed something had changed and it wasn't Keith and it wasn't the pile of wood. Keith was still standing there, just as sweet, completely unaware of anything that was going on. The only thing that had actually changed was her own thinking in the moment she caught a glimpse of just how powerful thought is to create our whole experience. One moment you can be totally in love and happy, and the next moment you can be frustrated and upset, which is exactly what happened to Valda. So she turned to Keith, now realizing that he or his behavior wasn't the cause of her feelings, and she said, you know, I'm really gonna be on your team from now on. And Keith was like, well, weren't you always on my team? She said, no, very frankly, I think I haven't been on your team anywhere near as much as I can be from now on. You know, over the years, thanks to this inside out understanding, thousands of people have become more loving and kind to their spouses and families. If you want to join us and live into all of the virtues and core values of the Quran, like